Hi, I'm Jay, and welcome to this week's episode of Hot Rod Hangout over on Faithful Avenue with Rod himself at Rod's Hot Rods. And you catch us standing in front of this amazing Cuda. This is where we're starting from today. It's outside my office, it's always good to look at. <laughs> you gotta come check out this car. It is an unbelievable build. If you haven't been to Rod's in a while, there's a whole bunch of new stuff for us to check out. Uh, in fact, that's what we're gonna do today is look at what's new here. Like, I, I go for a week, I'm here, I'm gone for a week, and then it's incredible. We got like six new vehicles to look at today, right? I didn't think we had it many because I thought we already did them last week. I didn't look at the video yet, so <laughs> I guess we it was wrong. We have six. Uh, we got a pair of uh, Chevys. We'll call them a pair. They are amazing, low kilometer cars that are gonna blow you away. A pair of Oldsmobiles. Yep. Things always come in multiples around here. Usually. Yeah, and uh, they are absolutely beautiful vehicles. We'll take a look at those in a second. <laughs> And one Ford Oval and one uh, Mopar. One Mopar. So kind of something for everybody today. We're going all over the place. And we're going to be begin right now. We'll take a walk to the back showroom. But yeah, if you haven't seen this Cuda just yet, make sure you come check it out. It's unbelievable. Yeah, this thing is... Y you the won't pictures get over don't the do it any justice. you got to see this in person. Yeah, that's like, right. That's right. I mean, we'll just take a little glance here. But we're talking like a full custom car done in Saskatoon with an incredible builder, incredible you know, group of people working on this thing. Unbelievable. I, I still just tell people that it's the same builder as the Pegasus uh, Mustang that sold yeah. to the stars. So you know what kind of builder this is. It's crazy. Exactly, exactly. Okay, Rod, lead the way. We're going back to the back showroom All here. All right. You've got the back door open too. That's right. Yeah, Camaro's over there. I International can't believe are going by. these old trucks haven't sold yet. Like, yeah, I know. Like the, like the old look with newer chassis. I don't know. Okay, which one are we gonna start with first? What do you want to start with? Let's go uh, over that way. Yeah. Okay, we're going over here. Starting with the Oldsmobile. Look at this. 1972, uh, 350 Rocket. This car was bought at Bear Jackson a few years ago. It's a total frame off, done, 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 done car. Um, it is gorgeous. Brand new powertrain. We're still doing the, uh, the setup on it because it's all brand new. Factory AC. Factory AC, you'll see it on the dashboard there. Yeah. Look at that. That's not many cars, right? That's not no, a lot. Well, lots from the US have the factory I guess, AC, I guess. Right? A Canadian car though, we didn't see so many of them up here. No. It was a luxury and it was expensive and it was kind of thought as unnecessary for a exactly. lot of people, right? Yep. Unless you bought a Cadillac or a Lincoln or exactly. something like that. I'm gonna get to opening the hood because that may take me a while. The chrome is brilliant on this thing. Yeah, it's like I said, it's a brand new build. It's a brand new build, you know? And what a cool color. You know, like this I is- I love a, the color. This is a really period correct color. And I think it's fantastic. I know that the video probably can't show the quality of the paint, but it's the the quality of the paint is as good, if not better, than anything in the whole showroom. That's right. Well, except for the Cuda. <laughs> that's, that's, that's that's exceptional, though. Yeah, that's exceptional. Other than that, it's uh, it is it is really really, really nice. nice. Yeah, and look under here. Factory EC all proper. Yep. The guys were uh, tuning on it today. They'll probably get it finished off tomorrow. A little bit of work left to finish to make sure it's just perfect, but I mean, yep. it looks just perfect, you know? Yeah, we got all the paperwork from this thing right from the start to finish. It was built in the, in the US. And so you that, said what year again? 72. 72, it means you're not also gonna conk your head on the snaggle tooth yeah. that's usually hanging from here because 70. by 72, they moved it down here. <laughs> we, were, we were talking about the years we were born and there's a couple of cars here in that era. So this is the year I was born. And we're going to look at uh, Monte Carlo, the year I was born, so. Yeah. <laughs> Where should we go? Should we I keep on with the same brand? Yeah, why not? Why not? Let's okay. go to another Olds. I love this. Again, this is another U.S. car built in the U.S. This was a complete restoration. Factory AC again, 1967. Olds had cool styling those years. Yes, it's a very cool body style. You know, like uh, the... The way the grill is done and yet it's kind of it's sort of funny because from the front okay let's go back here for a second you're not quite sure what you're looking at like this could be a 98 or an 88 right that yeah, the delta is sort of shared similar front ends you have to look it's, at the back end exactly as soon as you move back here though you go whoa this is a different animal this is cool and this is a neat color if you're seeing it it's not silver it's kind of more of a pewter Champagne. Champagne, some, 
something like that. But keep in mind, this is the same platform as the Chevelle. It is. So that's why... You get this, the flying buttresses that are back here. It's the same roof as the Chevelle. Yeah, those pieces, right. yeah. So you see lots, that. Of, lots of the same as a Chevelle. But a totally different animal when it comes inside yes. here. We're talking old style dashboard. I think look it's cool. Look at the factory vents for these. Yeah, that's look, cool. right the over chrome. here. Yeah. I think it's also neat that the radio is way the heck over there. Yeah. <laughs> the speaker is actually in the middle. And then the radio is darn near into the uh, passenger seat, you know? It's one of those retro radios. Look how, look at how clever that was though. Even floor lamps down in the front of the console. That's really cool. Lights up the whole floor. Buckets. Well, that console. Back in the day, these, the Buicks, these were uh, an upper scale uh, muscle car. Like the, That's right. Like the Cheval back in the day, that was like an entry level kind of. And a, it was really basic. Yeah. You know, like even the nicest Chevelles with the most options. They didn't have all those little no. lights and stuff. That's right. All the courtesy lights yeah. that, that they included and stuff like this was, that's what made it an Oldsmobile or a Buick. Jetfire. Look at that. 330. Which is kind of cool. Yeah. Being uh just a, and this is, this is at, in the time when, when you had an Olds, it had an Olds engine in it. Yeah. It wasn't a Chev 350 in an Oldsmobile. It was a brand specific engine. So it, it shared maybe some pieces, but there's lots of internals in this engine that only belong to this engine. Look at that frigid air. They didn't just make your refrigerator. They yeah. made the cooling system in your car for it to keep you cool too. Yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah, I think it's a cool body style. I remember my dad had one of these. He chased the guy down in Sutherland to see if he wanted to buy it. Uh, <laughs> I remember I was quite young. I remember this. It was uh, like a butternut yellow. I'm not sure what the Oldsmobile called it, but uh, yeah. the same car. I'm sure it's the same year. And it had custom mags on it. I remember that being so cool back in the day. You only had a choice of like three different mags back then. Right. I think it was Keystones, but... Uh, but I love that car, and uh, and just just one of those memories that I have. So he he got it. He chased oh, yeah, it right he down. He got, got it. it. Yeah, he's an older guy. I could drive you to his house. That's how vivid <laughs> this memory is. <laughs> and so you rode around in one of these as a yeah, kid. Yep. And it was, it was a two-door. Same identical car, but yellow, black interior. Cool. Yep. Amazing. Where are we going next, Rod? What's the next? Well, let's go. Should we go outside? Yeah, let's go outside. You can see it in the background already. Still there we go. Soap. You're thinking what? Cordoba. It's not a Cordoba. It's not a Cordoba. This is a one year only Chrysler 300. 1979 Chrysler 300. So when they did these special um, collector kind of additions for the cars, a limited edition, there's only 5,000 of these cars made. If you wanted one, um, it was over $2,000 over the regular Cordoba that year to order this 300, which is wow. a lot of money back then. So this car topped out at over $9,000 brand new. Whoa! Which you could almost buy like a Lincoln or something for that kind of money. Now, but when you bought these, they came basically just one way. One, well, yeah, one way. They're, they were only white. Right. They were only red leather interior. And they all had this blue and red pinstripe Yep, motif. and the engines, they all were 360s. There's a 321 gear ratio in the back. It's uh, zero to 60, 9.5, and the quarter mile is just over 17 seconds. Ah, look at that. So it was not a speed demon by any means. <laughs> Look at the size of the door. <laughs> look at the pillow tops. I just oh. yeah. Look at that leather. Look at that juicy. That's, that's original. Is that like interior. herb? Like herb Tarlick says, Corinthian leather. Corinthian. Corinthian leather, leather right? It's like w actually, K when they I actually think. had leather seats. That's right. That's that. But that interior is like that's like original interior. Yeah, it car. is. So it's kind of it's neat. pretty neat. It's pretty neat. Red everything. Red belts. Still has the original paint in the in the door jams. I don't know if you everything. can make it out here in the video. Maybe we'll see it on the other side. It actually says 300. I tried taking a picture of it. In the glass. It might, it might, uh, might show up. Set of Craigers on this thing right now. Yeah, the bumpers re-chromed. Uh, but even the white trim on the bumpers, you know, like that's, that's unique to this car, which is pretty cool. As it is, uh, my truck is in Alberta picking up a hot rod today. So this is my driver today. So, <laughs> right on. Yeah, it's cool. It drives awesome. <laughs> Going down the road, it's like a big couch. Yeah. <laughs> but I'll have this car up on the website later on tonight. It's in good condition. It really it's is. Like, this is like original body panels. Like there's no rust repair on this no. car. No. No, it's cool. It has one repaint, original interior. That's about it. Like it's an original car. I think the wheels look good on huh? it. Yeah, it's, it's great. 
Love it. Find okay. more at rodshotrods.ca. What do you want to do next? Blue one? Yeah, sure, it's right here. 1968 Mustang. Mustangs are getting harder to find, uh, whether it be a coupe or a fast, well, fastbacks are always pop, but uh, the coupes even are uh, getting harder to find now. Yep, they are. The 67, 68 are one of the favorite years in the, in the coupes. Very nice. Yeah, it's a little sweetheart of a car. What's yeah, under, the, under the hood in this guy? It's all newer stuff. It's got a newer uh, uh, rebuilt 302 headers, electronic ignition, C6, uh, eight inch rear end. It's got 30 gears, the wheels, obviously. It's got new front brakes, new rear brakes, uh, new fuel pump filter, new windshield, new interior. Yeah. The, paint's, the paint's about a year and a half old. And it's going to get a nice polishing yep. up. It looks pretty good in the video, but it, it, it's going to look really good if when Gary's it's done. If Gary's listening, you're only about five cars behind. <laughs> okay, Gary, you got lots of polishing to do. Gotta get on do. it. Automatic, so anybody can drive it. Nice little stereo. And did we mention this is also an AC car? Factory AC. The AC doesn't, it's not, everything under the hood is gone now. Right. It's not functioning, but everything on the inside of the car is still here, like Which all is, your controls and... That's the hard part to find, those little round exactly. vents that are kind of poking down there and the, and the right controls So for you it, can so. add everything underneath the hood to make it work yep but it's still cool it's a factory ac car though that's right this it's is a nice cool color you see it in person it's a or when you see it outside it looks different yeah it really shines well first try rod look at that i'm getting better oh yeah look at that just tidy nothing yep very nice yeah i actually drove this car it drives nice i like the the lights in the signal lights yeah in the hood and the vent that's cool those are always just a neat little touch that they did with these with these the things. The Chrysler 300's got them too, but he didn't mention that. I know, they're poking out actually of the fender tops. <laughs> yeah. Let you know that you got your signal lights on or your headlights are working. Yeah, it's a nice little tidy car. The first Mustang we've had for a while of this era, so. Well, and this is one that, you know, is in nice shape. It's ready to go, ready to drive. Yep. And it's gonna, and these are great, these are great fun to drive in the city because they're, they're smaller. Yep. They're a little nimble, they're, you get around. They're nimble, they're fun to yeah. drive, you know. But with the 302, it sounds good too. Yeah. It's got a nice sound and, to and it. It's nice and easy. One yeah. of those easy cars. Exactly. It's not a land yacht, it's not, you know, something that'll tear your face off. It's just awesome. Yep. Fun car. Okay, we got two left, and these Which are really, do do these are really special. I'll, I'll let you pick. Well, it's right behind me, so we'll go with that one. How about this? We're going to spin around and look at something from my birth year. We had Rod and his olds over here, the Cutlass. Yeah. And when I was born, this came out. An 87 Monte Carlo. But this is not just any Monte Carlo, right? No, this is a... Uh, this is an SS. Well, it's an SS to start with, 1987. Um, but, okay, I'll try and keep it short. <laughs> so back in this era, it's called an, an Aero Coupe, so it has a different back window. Right, let's go back there, I'll, now, I'll show you that. Lots of people have seen them in the Buicks, like the Grand Prix. you'd see quite a few of these, and I've never seen them back in the day. So that's this window that stands out. So normally the window would just go back here. Yeah. And this would just be all trunk here. That's right. Okay, so I've, this is my, the first Monte Carlo era back I've ever seen in my lifetime in real life. You've, we've just heard about them. I've heard about them. I've seen them on, in pictures, but I've sure. never seen one. Um, they had to do this for NASCAR, so in order, for the NASCARs, like that's how they looked. They had to make a certain amount of production cars. Yes. Um, to mimic what the race cars were. So this car was actually sold, kind of neat. Yeah, look at this. A Dale Earnhardt Chevrolet. In Newton, North Carolina. So it's made to look like a NASCAR and it's a Dale Earnhardt dealership yep. that it came from. But, it, but the story gets better. Okay. So this car is actually 100% bone stock original with 11,000 miles on it. No. Okay, we got real. a peek. Look at this. 11,000 mile car. We're gonna go right in here. Can you see the numbers? Maybe I can zoom in a little bit. 11,215 miles. Full gauge cluster. T-tops. That's right, look up here. We got the glass T-tops. And you know what? Like. How many of these would you ever find? A, with 11,000 miles, but B, look, there's not even any wear on the seats. Brand new. Brand new, the whole thing is brand new. So, people that know me know that I've been looking for a Monte Carlo SS for a long time. And this is one of my favorite cars. I've always wanted the Pro Tour one. Yep. Like with the big twin turbo LS, all the, the ride tech suspension, just 
that's what I wanted to do. So I've been looking for a, a car to do it with. Now that I found the car. Oh, come on, no way. I think it's almost too nice. That's right. To do it to. You, you know, if you found a, I mean, A, this coupe, this, especially with a window on it, right? With, with the that, Aero Coupe. With yeah. the Aero Coupe, being that special window, being it's 11,000 miles, it's original paint, the stripe kit is still on it. I mean, how, you know, I, I, I see your vision, Rod. I know. I think you've got to find a different Monte Carlo for that. But I've been looking, and because these cars were, they were driven hard and put away wet. You know That's what I mean? Right. Like these. Look at, the, look at the wheels. It's it's hard to find these. Look at the wheel. I bet you those are the original tires. They could all the, uh, They eagles? could be. Yeah, they're Eagles. Yeah, they're I Eagles. I bet you they are. We never looked at the date stamp. Look at this. So uh, when it was stored, it wasn't stored properly, obviously, because it had water sitting in here. Oh yeah. Okay. So we're gonna have to tidy that up. Tidy a that bit. up. But uh, this is like it's deal. original, original. Wow. Holy and smoke. Yeah, it's been years since I've been trying to find one, but I, yeah. I don't know if I can bring myself to do it. This, this is not one that we could, I don't know. I mean, anybody can do anything, but boy, it'd be a shame to. Yeah. Not something as cool as this. Wow. And being T-top and it's not beat up. Like I, I've looked at, I don't know, probably 20, 30 cars in the last two years to try and find one. And they all say, oh, they're mint. They're low miles, they're mint. Then you then you get there. There's it's like their pit bull got in the interior and there's nothing <laughs> left of it. Like it's literally there's nothing left. There's rust everywhere. Cause these these cars are bad for rusting, like in the back of the frames. Yeah. And like it's just hard to find a good one. So look at how good this one is. If this one doesn't sell in reasonable time, maybe nobody wants to buy it, then maybe I'll just do it and keep all the factory parts. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Cool. Okay. Anyway, for the next car. The last one we're going to look at today. This I'm gonna, is the year I graduated high school, just I, after you were born. That's right. And I had this car on a poster in my room. These cars were unattainable back in the day. Here's what I'm going to do. We're going to go look at the floor for a second. And we're going to come up this way. Now, maybe you caught a glimpse of this thing already in the background of some of this video. But there's oh. a Sherwood sticker. That's a real one. So that's not added later. We're talking about this. Go to the other side. There you go. ZR1. This is the first one I've ever owned. And this was bought brand new in Saskatoon, Sherwood. This car comes with all the original documents, window sticker, bill of sale, everything that it was shipped with. It would have plastic on the seats. It'll come with plastic. It'll, everything is with the car. All three sets of keys. The back in the day, they had three sets, not two. Um, original, 16,000 kilometers on this car. 16,000 kilometers, a Saskatoon car. One owner. One owner, perfect wheels, original tires, and just look in here. It had like floor mats on top of floor mats on top of floor mats. Look at that red leather. And like, even this guy, the little, the, the little pump still works. All the mo Everything. seats move. It's crazy. Look, there's even drive, like ride control select, yeah. right? That's a ZR1 only thing. Power seats. Six it's a speed manual. manual. They didn't have all well, the six speeds back in the day, or, you know what I mean? Like, well, and digital dash, yeah. right? Like it's a digital speedometer. The one thing that, that Chevy didn't do right, I don't think, is they didn't make the car look different enough. Like the back end's different. It had the square taillights. That's right. one of the notable things. But they didn't really make it a whole lot different. Um, this is back in the day. This is an actual supercar. Like this was the king of the hill, if not one of the fastest cars in the world, production cars at the time. Now, a ZR1 only came basically one of two ways: this way or the other way. You ordered it with either just a solid roof or this optional. Well, they all come with a solid roof, the, right? But then you could order the glass roof as an option. That's the only option you can buy on this car, and this car has it. And you can swap them out. So it has both tops. <sighs> And the motor in this thing, this is like IndyCar stuff. Okay, flip it over for me. Like, if you've never, I'm sorry that I'm getting all kind of <laughs> whatever, but. <laughs> Rod's getting hot and heavy over this Corvette. Look at that, lights come on. We are looking so at. 32 valve four cam, 5.7. This for, for, for 1990, this is supercar stuff. It like, is. Unbelievable. It is. And Bowling Green, Kentucky. It's got a decal up on the top of the hood there. Still the factory tires that it came with back. Like, look at that. New. <laughs> That's crazy. That's nuts. 
and like I've never seen one nicer than this ever with that kind of miles. Like the only other way that they will get one nicer is if someone bought one and put it in the garage with no miles at all. That's the only way that you'll find one better than this. I How's think. This? Miles or kilometers? Kilometers. The Saskatoon. 16,000. That's right. Yeah, it's sold in Saskatoon. 16,000 so 16, kilometers. kilometers. So about the same mileage as on the Monte Carlo. That's right. Yep. Can you close the hood for me for a second? Let's see if we can get it to latch. Oh, see, now we've got the challenge of can Rod close the hood? Never mind opening it. Corvettes are all the same. You got to pick them up and drop them from there. And then, of course, I mean, how can you deny the coolness of pop-up headlights? I'll bet you those are the original bulbs. Oh, they have to be. They've probably never even been changed. Notice that there's no bugs in there even? No, there isn't. <laughs> there, like, it's, it's a brand new car. We're looking at a brand new car. And yes, they work just great. Yeah, it's crazy. That's crazy. That's But crazy. guess what? The good news is it's staying here. It's staying here. It's only going about five blocks away, and I just sold it about two hours ago. We, so I'm, I'm happy with that, the fact that it's staying it's in staying Saskatoon. It's staying here. It's going into it's, a, it's a, a Saskatoon a nice car. collection. Yeah. If you remember that, uh, that WS6 Trans Am that we had, the yellow one with like 6,000 kilometers on it? Yep. This is going in that same collection. Awesome. What's coming up next week? Because we got more on the oh, way. Yeah. Hold on. Road's got to go to a different list. Well, there's only two for sure. Um, the 98 Viper we talked about, that's, Ooh, that's yeah. in. you actually seen that at the Dalmany Show. I've seen it. I, um, it'll be here, so we'll get a look at it next week. And uh, my 34 Ford three-window hot rod is Ooh. on its way. It should be here the next hour, but it won't be here for their video, so it'll be here next week. Okay. And we Working. got some good surprises. We got some good stuff coming. I don't yeah. want to say too much, but there's, we have some other stuff. There's another pair probably in the works. There's, there's going to be something else, yeah, guaranteed. Uh, yeah. You know, because Rod will go... <laughs> just like today, uh, what do we have to look at? I'm not sure if there's anything to look at. Yeah. And now, boom, there's six new cars here. <laughs> yeah. Well, there should have been eight today, but two aren't here to even do. So. Exactly. If you want more information about something we talked about in this video, something you saw in the background, something we featured today, go to rodshotrods.ca. And otherwise, we'll catch you next week on Hot Rod Hangout.